What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, today brings to an end a shortened week, guys. We have four days to get it in. We have four days to get in our bag on this week. And guys, check it out today. It all came to a close, but I want to kind of share with you guys a couple things. Matter of fact, I'm super excited for next week because what took place today is really, really good for the prospects of a nice bullish week at least to start the week for next week okay guys and so i want us to build off of that but check this out guys all week i've been kind of showing you my style and how i trade whether you guys know how i give it up man okay but this week i wanted to show you when i play small contract sizes and still how you guys can still be surgical even if you guys are working with small accounts and small amounts, all right? Check this out, guys. Every day this week, I've tried to show you around 10 contracts in which I stay tried and true to being surgical. The same thing I would do with my 100 contracts and my 200 contracts, I wanted to show you the game doesn't change because of your size of your portfolio, okay? If you guys tally up just this week alone, I tried to do at least around $1,000 per day each day with a couple trades, okay? This is what I mean about you don't have to be in the market all day. I want you guys to look for high quality trades, high probability trades, and I want you to focus on your win rate. But more importantly than any of that, guys, you must learn and master how to properly lose, okay? You need to make sure your losses aren't bigger than your wins. You need to make sure you are cutting your losses if you're going to trade on a consistent basis, okay? And acknowledge when you are on the wrong side of a trade. That's really the key to growing your portfolio and having consistency in this game, all right? And so today was no different than yesterday. It was no different than Tuesday, and it was no different than Monday. I kept hitting around... 500 200 dollar plays to kind of round out around a thousand dollars per day every single day and even on a shortened week guys who wouldn't want to make around five six thousand dollars in a four-day work week okay but really 30 minutes of time each day okay this is the power of what's I'm trying to teach you guys on a consistent basis, okay? And this is why I'm gonna be a stickler on you guys learning this and mastering this because I don't care about the size of your portfolio. I care about you mastering the skill, learning how to properly read a chart, but more importantly than that, learning how to execute your game plan on a given day, okay? With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the charts. Okay, guys, class is in session. Today's lesson will be on a five-minute chart. I need to show you why I'm super excited. Look, guys, we closed at 409.19. We was up 0.39% on today. Not too much to write home about, but let me tell you why this is a good thing, okay? First things first, I want to take your eyes here, guys. We want to establish that to start the day, this line, that's the 200 EMA, was operating as resistance. I'm gonna go ahead and write this out. I need you guys to get this and learn this, okay? Check this out, that's number one, all right? But number two was the fact that we had this gap down to start the day. Check this out right here. We closed here yesterday, we opened down here, and then we flushed down to start the day, okay? But look at what happened here. I want you guys to identify these patterns, okay? Tell me what you see, okay? Boom. Tell me, do you see that double bottom right here, okay? Do you see that forming right there, okay? So it was okay to play the plays to the downside on the spy this morning because we were under resistance, okay? We were under this level right here to start the day, okay? But then once this double bottom form, what did I tell you what happens when a double bottom is formed? This is why I want you guys to take high quality and high probability setups. Once this double bottom was formed, check this out guys, it went up and boom, it went and tested resistance. Look at how many times, one, two, three times it took of hitting this resistance level before we got this big green candle and we broke through, okay? Now I'm gonna move this out the way because you guys already know, I tell you, resistance becomes support 
once it is broken, okay? Now, we're on this side of the trade, okay? Once we got this big green candle, look at this next boom, boom candle. Boom, 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 boom. Guys, look at this bull flag, okay? And then it just kept going up, bouncing off the 13. You guys already know I told you to look for that. And it bounced up all day, even bounced off the 48 here, and then closed the day on high, okay? But check this out, guys. We are looking good. The fact that we got above this level and what was resistance, now it becomes support. And then we begin to go higher, okay? I'm gonna clean this up because you guys already know I like a clean chart, but you guys need to look at this at least one or two times if you need to, to follow along with these teachings, okay? Once we got above this line right here, okay? Once we got above this line, look at this. Boom, we bust through, we bust through, we bust through, we bust through. Look at these big green candles, guys. These is how you get those thousand dollar days, okay? Really, really simple by just, again, being on the right side of the trade. We rolled this line. This is the 13 EMA. We rolled this all the way to this level before we had our first break. But like I said, the 48 stepped in and held up right here as support. And then boom, we jumped right back above it. Okay, and then closed on high. <sighs> Guys, it is very, very important on your journey that you play and be honest, okay? You have to play and stay honest in this game. Meaning, when you come out the gate, okay, in pre-market, they're gonna show you one sign. Okay, at market open, they're gonna show you something else. In this particular case, the market gap down. But what did I tell you? Most times, gaps are going to be filled. And so, as you see, check it out right here. This was the gap. And then, what did they do? They came right back here, and at this level right here, this was the gap fill, okay? That's what's part of those big green candles to getting that move going, okay? And it's important that you guys understand that and see that and recognize the creative ways they fill the gaps, okay? And so when you have a gap down, you need to think, okay, after we're done going down, the market is going to make a move back to the upside, potentially to close the gap. If you have a gap up, at some point in time, they're going to make some type of move to come back down to try to close the gap, okay? That's just some day-to-day, -day, intraday trading nuggets that I want you guys to be mindful of, all right? Because you can see these things coming from a mile away. But with that being said, I'm super excited because we were down in the dumps from yesterday on a pullback and then today with the gap down. But once we recaptured and got above resistance on that five-minute chart, guys... Boom, we were off to the races, okay? And so now that sets us up for next week, at least for Monday, if they don't do anything wacky over the weekend, for us to continue the momentum to the upside. And so I want you guys to trade the trend. I don't want you trying to go against the grain. I don't want you, oh, it's got to drop. Nope, block out the noise, trade the charts, okay? Remember that, all right? And so guys, listen, man, I'm super excited for Monday. We got a three-day weekend, so market is closed on tomorrow. So get some rest, track your results, reflect on the kind of week you had, the wins, the losses, and get ready to get to the money with me come Monday morning, okay? Listen, guys, we make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.